Hello friend. So far we have learned uh, about SharePoint Online REST API, different HTTP verbs, get, post, delete, merge, and also understand uh, demo example with uh, SharePoint Online CRUD operation using REST API. Uh, and in previous video we have learned about uh, list of, uh, get list operation, so get list data, then get the request digest method, create new list item with the post, update list item with post and HTTP method header and the delete. If you notice uh, these are the four or five method which is mainly used for REST operation. Uh, rest operation. Over here uh, if you notice we are passing on the request URL and header except is same. Credential these are the same for the get operation. If we are uh, passing a uh, post method, so we can say the credential header except this methods are same. And considering the body with undefined, this is similar to get request. So the only changes is post. And for the create new list, uh, internally it is uh, requesting get request digest. Then the method type would be post. Uh, this is also same credential include header content type the only changes is body so it can be possible like create list new list or the post operation we can pass the request url and then payload which we can say body which internally convert to stringify json stringify uh, for the update operation it is similar to post operation only changes uh, is request url which is uh, just minor changes with select the specific URL and uh, the main changes is to extra header if match and x HTTP merge uh, the body with converting into the stringify is the same so we can pass payload for the update list as well and for the late operation uh, it will only accept the request URL and internally it is using the request request which is the same post which is same only changes is x HTTP method delete so consider uh, changes with uh, post operation delete and merge have similar uh, uh, logic or uh, similar method but only changes is, is special uh, to extra HTTP header parameter so uh, for the usable purpose, I have created the SPO helper, which is a uh, SharePoint Online REST CRUD operation utility. Let, uh, let me take a look at SPO helper. What we understand is, uh, uh, I, have I have made the generic method for uh, SP get, SP post, then uh, SP update, and SP delete. If you notice, uh, for the SP get, it is uh, copying the headers and then get JSON. What it will be doing? Copying headers. So uh, headers will be a uh, credential accept. So if we take a look at headers, so these are the common headers which will be used for uh, most of our CRUD operations include accept content type. Now if we come at get operations sp get so what we are doing we are passing the url sp get so this kind of url and then console but internally it is using get json method what it will be doing uh, let me f12 we are passing the urls headers internally it will be using the base client with headers method so internally the default value will be get and it will be directly converting to r dot json so it will be converting to json data now come to sp get uh, and then sp post for the post like create a new item uh, what we are doing we are passing the url as a payload header request and uh, is blob or error uh, let's keep this part and let's understand what we can use is post request require the re uh, get digest method or request digest we have internally uh, request the get request digest and then we are passing the extra headers 
in this method so over here the sp post what it will do it will get the request as if we didn't pass explicitly to our sp post method and then it will can, uh, internally call the sp post method so sp post uh, sp post will uh, what we do they merge two headers headers one uh, which is a basic uh, headers for all the request and then is previously we passed the uh, X uh, request as header so it will merge to this one and then uh, it will request with method type post so the URL method type post body if it is a blob or not uh, and if it is not blob then it will be convert JSON uh, stringify result and then it will be checking like if the headers is uh, there for if match uh, then uh, they are not coming to the JSON so the if match header will be used for update and delete operations and this will be the most common if we consider this example with post so for the create post we can say this method will be used uh, converted with get digest method these are the uh, record coming from headers and this extra parameter which is coming using the get request dynamically and uh, for the stringy file it will be convert to this one so sp post will be this headers combined headers and then to the json and if we check sp update so for updating the uh, list or any record what we are doing is uh, we are passing the url payload and digest if user want to pass the digest otherwise uh, uh, the main changes which we discussed like for the update and delete operations there are two extra header if match and x at it be merge but internally it will be, it will be using the sp post so these are the reusable code we can say sp post for create or update so if we go to this one f12 then this will be the same but uh, this time uh, the header will be passed with this one headers and we are appending the headers if you come to this one and if you check like if match headers are there then we are uh, just passing the result to this one not converting to r.json it should be a json format so this will be use while sp update and uh, for the delete operations same thing with sp update the only changing is sp x uh, method which is a delete operation so uh, instead of using uh, this method if we can use spu helper this should be a generic not for the list currently this method only works for list operation because uh, for the create a list item i have explicitly uh, made the static value base template but using the spu helper uh, you can use uh, sp update sp post operation for creating the new list item create new list or create new document library this will be a very useful uh, helper method as well so uh, i also created the utility for uh, file upload as well if we consider the file upload uh, part you created sp file upload what would uh, it require the parameter url payload headers or request as which will be same for I think uh, SP file but internally it will be passing SP post and the flag will be if we are uploading the file internally the blueberry flag will be true and this will be the same for the file upload payload will be passed as a, a binary data and as it is a binary data what we are doing uh, for the post operation it require the get request digest should be the same uh, the header will be required this will be the value true by default value false but as we have passed explicitly it should be the value true now if we check this one request client uh, for the body parameter here what we are doing if is blob array type is buffer is true then we are passing uh, payload as it is which can be used as a binary or array buffer value and we are not converting to json string if otherwise it will be corrupted uh, payload and uh, this uh, only changes to this one is this flag true if we have to upload the multiple file upload so in this uh, uh, demo what i have done 
uh, passed uh, extra uh, array which is a files array of uh, payload and internally I have converted into the promise based uh, functionality so I am looping through all the file then internally it will be using the SP file upload the changes would be like for the URL we are passing the file name and the da uh, data is a binary format so this will be used for multiple file upload but uh, most of the case uh, like SP file upload, SP gate, SP post, SP update and SP delete these are the core uh, uh, method which is used for uh, crowd operation with uh, helper utility using SP helper hope you like uh, this LPO helper utility you can found uh, this SPO helper online uh, uh, document as well so let me take a look at uh, SPO helper so this are the article this is a URL you can search on Google SPO helper and uh, you get the result like this one so you can also learn how to use SPO helper in SPFX development or how to use this uh, reusable SPO helper utility for uh, easy to use with SharePoint Online and SharePoint 2019 I think it can be supported to SharePoint uh, 2016 but I didn't test it for a different browser okay. uh -huh. thank you uh, for watching the video